Athletes of all skill levels and sports have the chance to learn skills to enhance or maintain their performance. Michael Sobeck joins us live from 906 CrossFit to show us what skill you can gain from next week's sports medicine clinic with Elevate Athletic Training. Michael, I hope you're getting sweaty there this morning. Fortunately, I haven't been working out just yet, but for those who are, for those who are interested, that was really well timed. I know, every time. <laughs> I have Carrie with me to talk about this, this coming up next week, her open house and a group run. So let's just dive right in. Tell me sure. about it. What's going on? So uh, Queen City has been offering Thursday night pub runs for probably several years now. Mm -hmm. And so I reached out to them and said, hey, I want to host one in Ishpeming. Let's bring it out to the West End. And um, so I'm going to offer an open house before the run from 5 to 6 to show my space, connect with runners, and the tools that I use to help runners manage pain and work through injuries. We'll do the group pub run like normal up here, and we're going to offer a trail run to this time, which okay. traditionally through the winter, well, the trail's been covered in snow. So <laughs> the trails are open, so we're going to do a trail run too. And then we'll meet at the Mather Inn, which also just opened okay. in Ishpeming for like a social hour. They have NA options okay. and cocktails and beer afterwards for us all to visit together. Also, this sounds like a lot of fun, especially yeah. for those people who are big fans of running. I'm not much of a runner, but maybe <laughs> I might give it a shot. Now, you have in front of us some of the tools you use. Now, you mentioned your open house. Will these kinds of things be shown at the open house? Yes. So people can come in from 5 to 6 next Thursday night. And I can do a quick evaluation on any kind of pain or trigger points that they're having, restrictions they're having. And I use cups or dry needling, scraping. Um, we have the traditional foam rollers and stretching. And then I have a compression sleeve system also um, to help people warm up. We can use hot or cold depending on what's okay. appropriate for their pain. So they can yeah. come and see my space and talk to me and we can work through some of those maybe aches and pains that they've been ignoring. I don't maybe. Know. I don't Runners know. are pretty tough. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I definitely want to get a quick highlight of the cupping. That is something oh. that you don't see very often. What is the pro How does that process work? Um, so the way that I do cupping is through a biomechanical or musculoskeletal system approach. And so when there's restrictions, let's say in the upper trap, or I see a lot up here with um, trade workers in the forearms, like your tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, um, you put the cups on and then we actually go through the range of motion to increase mobility and um, improve the shearing movement between okay. the skin and the muscle. So that okay. improves the range of motion, reduces pain, and then also helps the tendinopathies repair a little bit faster. Okay, that's really cool well, yeah. for those who are interested. Well, thank you for, first off, thank you for joining me and yeah. waking up super early for this. <laughs> Uh, this is all really cool stuff. Those who are interested in learning more and even partaking in some of those group runs or summer activities, mm -hmm. I'll put all of that on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com for those who are interested. It's back to you, ladies. All right. Thank you so much, Michael. Your top stories are on the way. We'll be right back.